All right, so we have the Fool. Aquarius energy. We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. We have the High Priestess in reverse, Pisces energy. We have the Eight of Cups. Clarify the Fool. The Six of Cups in reverse. Mm. Clarify the Six of Pentacles in reverse. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Oof. Clarify the High Priestess in reverse. The Nine of Wands in reverse. Goodness, guys. Turn out the Eight of Cups. Yeah, the Page of Cups in reverse. Someone is not still... I know you guys are going to be like, I don't care. But there is somebody here, whether this is you or somebody in your energy, somebody wants a new beginning with you. They, they want to take a leap of faith on you or take a leap of faith on something here. But they just are still not doing it. Like they're still stuck in the past or still holding on to something from the past or they're just still not ready. They're still immature. They could still be just like un not they're afraid to leave their comfort zone i feel like this is you guys in this energy of no longer giving anything to this person but it's like somebody is still not somebody is having a hard time trusting themselves and being able to make decisions for themselves like they know within themselves what they should do for them like they know what to do but they're not, they don't trust themselves. They're not listening to their intuition. They're not listening to their inner voice. They're not listening to their gut feelings. This is a very paranoid person. This is somebody that's afraid to make a wrong decision. Like they don't trust their ability to make a good decision for themselves. And this, this person's in the energy of not wanting to like meet you, like not wanting to compromise on something here. Someone's being stubborn. It's like someone's intuition is telling them to walk away from something and they're not doing it. They're not trusting themselves. They feel with all, every, I just heard with everything in them that it's time to walk away from something. And they're just still not doing it. Some of you, they're just like super immature here. Like they just lack the, yeah, they need to heal. Like they need to take some time to heal. What's on the back of the deck? We have justice here, Libra energy, the ace of swords. I told you, they know what the right thing to do is. They see that very clearly. They know what would be the right thing to do for themselves, for, towards you, or they, they see the truth. Like somebody knows that they want to offer you something, but for right now, they're trying to keep the peace in a situation or avoid some type of conflict. Yeah, or I feel like they want to squash the beef with you. You may be hearing from this person, but if they're coming towards you in this energy, the three of pentacles in reverse was on the back of the deck. This person is not going to, the nothing is still going to work between you and this person. They're wanting two conflicting things. They're wanting a new beginning without leaving behind the past. That doesn't work that way. Tell me more about what's going on here and how this relates to my collective. What is my, okay, so we have the king of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy, ten of pentacles in reverse. Mm, the empress, ah, yeah. Taurus energy and the two of swords. See, it's like this person is trying to choose between, so they feel like if they leave this, this old situation, it's going to lead to some type of loss for them. I don't know. Fine. It looks financial. Or they may even feel like they're going to lose their family for some of you. They feel like they're going to lose like a family member or their family, like they may get disowned or they're going to lose some type of money. This person, they're in the King of Pentacles in reverse energy. So they're just... <sighs> They're not stable. They have a lot of maturing to do. They see you. They see that you, they view you as the empress, okay? They feel like you're very abundant. They feel like you like anything you touch, it grows into something. Like they feel like you can you have like a really good ability to manifest or like you're very caring and nurturing, but for some reason this person's still indecisive. Like you're so if you look at these cards right here, you're the obvious good choice, the good path, right? They're even possibly having conflict with whoever these people are, this family or whatever this money situation is. There's conflict there. Why are they indecisive? Why can't they make up their mind? The King of Cups in reverse. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Um, well, the Queen of Wands in reverse. What is that? Why is this person not choosing delays? Yeah. See, this person, ooh, see, I don't like this. <laughs> I 
this person, what does that have to do with my collective? Yeah, things are not moving forward between you and this person because Leo energy here with the sun. This person does not feel like they can control you or something. It's so weird. Like this person is like used to, they're manipulative. What is the Queen of Wands reverse? They're used to people that don't know their worth or something like that. All right, the Chariot, Cancer Energy, and the three. See, there's another person here. Who is this person? Someone's causing delays. Independence. Third. What about this third party situation? Of course, there's a third party. See, they're trying to avoid conflict with a third party. Whoever this third party is could be a fire sign, an Aries Leo, or a Sag. This person is drama. They're they like they they're very um spiteful. Like if your person were to leave them, they're afraid of what your person would of what th your person this person that's coming through in your reading is afraid of how this Queen of Wands in reverse would react to them leaving them or doing something here. Because whoever this Queen of Wands in reverse is is like they're very vengeful. They're they know this person's gonna be angry and jealous and try to maybe try to sabotage things between the two of you. Do something to get back at them. Mm, so they've been, they've been trying to avoid making this other person mad. For some of you, it's their wife or their husband. What about the Queen King of Wands? The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. What does this have to do with my collective, though? What does it have to do with my collective? Four of Cups. They look at you as like a missed opportunity. Yeah, it does. The Magician. See, it's like... They feel like if they don't make some big changes that they're not going to, they, they know that they need to make some changes or they're going to miss an opportunity with you for ultimate happiness and fulfillment. Okay. So why are they so afraid of this other person? All right. We have the lovers here. Gemini energy. I can't show it on camera. Why are they afraid? The wheel of fortune. Why are they afraid of this queen of wands in reverse? Yeah. The nine of swords. They, yeah. Anxiety, depression, sleepless nights, overthinking, fear, nightmares. Why? What are they finding out here? This person worries about you meeting somebody else. Yeah, this person worries about you meeting somebody else. Maybe if it's not, I, there is third party interference here. But this person also worries that now that you, you're maybe stepping into this energy of knowing your worth. And they know that that's going to bring in somebody that is like, that you're going to be raising. Like, how do I say that? Now that you know your worth. You're no longer going to be settling for their breadcrumbs and that you, there's a good possibility you're about to settle down with somebody. Like somebody's about to, to cuff you. Somebody's about to snatch you up. So I feel like they worry about that. They lose sleep over that. But I'm still not getting a clear picture on why this person is not leaving this other situation. All right. I think I'm going to move over to the oracles. Why is this person not leaving this situation, Spirit? Why are they so afraid? Why is this person so afraid of this? Who, give me more clarity on that. Clearing negative energy, obstacles, overcoming obstacles, no blocks. So maybe they are going to start coming out of that energy. Tell me more. Silly games. Playing hard to get being a tease. Okay. Genuine apology. See, this person may come towards you and say like, look, like I'm trying to like get through these obstacles and these blocks. I'm trying to be in a place where me and you will be able to move forward easily like you know it will we won't have all these issues anymore but and I, it's, i'm sorry for playing these games like yeah for some of you this person is just purposely holding back from you this person is plays games they're manipulative and i don't know why they because they need to they have something that they need to work they need to do shadow work all right why do you need to play with people's feelings why do you have to this person is like very egotistical as well but yeah they're 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 in this energy of playing hard to get and like playing games with you when they're the king of pentacles in reverse. They don't, how dare, like, how dare they? You're, you're the empress or the emperor and they're the king of pentacles, queen of pentacles in reverse, whatever you want to call it. And they have the audacity to try to play hard to get with you. Hmm. So I do see them coming in and wanting to apologize for something. You see, making lifestyle changes. I told you this person knows that if they don't change, they don't make some big changes in their life, that they're going to miss an opportunity with you. Rushing into love. No, not wait. See, now this person's going to want to move something to forward with you very quickly. 
Why is that? Devote Now they want to devote themselves to you. Maybe it's because you guys are overcoming your obstacles, okay? You're getting in this energy where you, this person was blocking you from at some point. Like, how else do I describe this? They were blocking you from moving on or you were stuck on this, per something. You're in this energy of clearing negative energy and overcoming your own obstacles, which is, they're a part of that. Because you were sick of this person playing games with you. Now they want to come in with a genuine apology. Now they want to talk about, oh, I want to make better choices. I want to, I want to get my life together for you. I, they're going to want to try to rush you into something because I told you this person's losing sleep thinking that you are about to be with somebody else. Yeah, but see, no second chances here. Some of you guys are done with this person's bullshit or you're not about to take this person back. Didn't I say, yeah, this person's controlling. This person likes to have control. Yep, grip by it, but they're obsessed with you. They're fixated on you. They're very attached to you, but their ego, they don't want you to know this. They, this person almost like tries to do things to make you seem like you're obsessed with them or you're chasing them. This person is obsessed with you. Yeah, falling in love, awakening heart, early stages. Shadow work. Didn't I just say they need to do shadow work? <laughs> see, this is somebody that maybe thought they see grass is green and pride getting in the way. I told you. <laughs> you are literally per a perfect match. What? What is this? There's something about the fact that like this person can't control you that is like making them not want to. This person does not want to like surrender to you. So th they're freaking obsessed with you. They know that they have love for you. But instead of just choosing you and settling down with you and surrendering to this connection, they would rather like go and play games and like see like explore options. But they don't have any intent to even be with those people. They're just doing it to like boost their ego or to not give in to you. Like, why is this person like this? Yeah, I don't even know. Yeah, third party involved, which I already said that. It could be friends, family, other love, or interfering. What is third party involved? Or maybe this person is worried that you will find that there's greener grass. Yeah, you know what? I'm telling you, this person knows that you have somebody coming in. They can feel that. Yeah. For some of you, this was somebody that was like not wanting to commit to you. What is that? I'm going to take a look at that in a second. This is somebody that feels like you're about to find, you're about to find better, greener grass. Somebody that is, that can give you what you deserve and what you want. And this person's starting to sweat. They know that they need to stop being prideful. They're going to have to either put their pride to a side or they're about to lose you to somebody else. But it's like this person knows. Yeah, look at this. They know that you have a love coming in. They know that you're open to new possibilities in love and they feel like they need more time to get their shit together. So this is why they're about to come in and try to snatch you up because they want to keep maintain some type of control over you. What is fleeting romance on the back of the deck? Isolated and see for some of you, they did choose somebody over you. Isol what is fleeting romance and isolated and alone stringing along? See, be careful with this person, guys. This is somebody that would come in and offer you something to keep you from moving on. But then as soon as they got you back, th they would like start isolating from you and retreating and they would become very closed off, ghost you, whatever. This was just, they do this as a means to drag things out until they get, until they can kind of bridge a gap between these differences that you guys have, okay? Be careful. There is love between you and this person and there is a spiritual purpose to this connection, all right? But yeah, you caught this person off guard. They like, Yep, sexually in sync, twin flame love. Yeah. Mm hmm. This person misses sleeping with you. They feel like you're the best they ever had. Yeah, caught off guard. They were not expecting to meet you. They were not expecting to meet somebody that they had this type of connection with. Yep. They were also not expecting to meet somebody that would show them that they, they feel like you are too good for them. And they were not expecting to meet somebody that would show them all of their darkest aspects and flaws and things that were mirror to them all the things they needed to work on so this you're this person's mirror as their twin if this is your twin for some of you it may not be that but for those of you that this is your twin you're mirroring to this person all the things that they probably tr don't want to face about themselves and that they need to work on and this has been hard for this person to come to terms with it's like they don't like that they don't like that you you show them what they need to work on and that they're not perfect and that 
you don't put them on them on a pedestal and they they do put you on a pedestal and it makes them feel small and but they don't they're needing to realize that it's trying to show them the things that they need to work on within themselves if somebody if you if you view somebody in a really um if you if you put somebody on a pedestal you view them in a very good light right or you just you think very highly of them and that makes you feel small that's showing you something you need to work on within yourself so that makes you feel like that triggers your ego to see somebody that's like making more money than you or doing better in life than you and that makes you feel small and intimidated then that's something you need to work on within yourself and that's what's going on with this person all right <laughs> all right guys give me one second i gotta go run and do something All right, I'm back. <laughs> Hopefully you guys didn't hear too much noise. <laughs> I always forget that I'm wearing my mic now. So I was like running around with my mic on. So hopefully you guys didn't hear too much noise. All right. Oops. Oh, so we have grieving falling out here. So we have, they're stuck in grief, unable to see that they still have the power to create a positive change. I told you, this person wants a new beginning with you, but they're just like sulking. They're just sitting in it. I don't know. Oh, this is the wrong way. Oh, I just saw a power couple. Yeah, it's like, this person's whole perspective on the connection with you or like what they, is just so wrong. Like, they get intimidated they feel like you're 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 in a better place than they are it intimidates them instead of motivating them and be like wow you know the collective likes me they they see something in me okay well you know and like i don't know this should motivate this person to try to like get on your level if they admire you know your qualities and what what you do all those things i don't know but yeah, there's something here about family tree. There's cultural differences, different values, beliefs, or traditions that pose a challenge to this connection. We have, I told you, they've received some type of truth about something here. Could be about their family. They're, they're starting to see something about their family, positive, po possibly. We are helping this connection evolve to see things as they really are and bring light to all that has been hidden. We have healing. So somebody's realizing that they need to heal or something like that. Coming to peace with their past and bringing back balance in the connection. Clarify divine truth. We have release. So they realize something once they let you go or once you let them go. If they walk away, if they walked away from you or you 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 walked away and they just let you go, it says when they set you free, they felt the sting from your absence. Don't let their silence fool you. Yeah, we have breakthrough. They are planning right now to come towards you to ask for a second chance. Expect communication real soon. Ooh, be care see, be care. I was seeing this. There is a difference between love and lust. Don't let your desire destroy you. Overcome the spirit of lust. So be careful of that with that person wishing well there's a lot of excitement in the air you awaken to new life in them that has them lost in a field of possibilities anything else we have frequency so maybe they are starting to do it now maybe you guys walking away from this person because it says that when they released you if they chose to walk away from you or you walked away from them whatever the case was it's it, it triggered a breakthrough in this this person's starting to realize that they don't just they're not just sexually attracted to you this is something much deeper than that and now they're, they're thinking about a future with you. This is somebody that's trying to get on your level. Yeah, they are aligning to the frequency of love and operating at a high frequency vibration with openness to receiving. Or this is going to be happening in the future. Let's see. Meeting you was unexpected. You changed their whole world forever, feeling lost as they lose their old identity. It's something that's making this person feel like they're about to really lose you to somebody else that's lighting a fire under their ass. Yeah, this person's been waiting for you. Yeah, I told you, they were not expecting to meet you. Like, you turned everything upside down for this person. And it's like, you triggered a transformation in them. So everything that they were and everything that they used to resonate with, it's not the case anymore. But they're waiting to hear from you or see you. They search for you and everything, feel you everywhere, always in the back of their mind, hoping they run into you. 
Yep, I'm telling you. So maybe they feel like you're the first person to really like ever like challenge this person or how do I say that? Like they really met their match with you. I feel like this person's usually able to like control and have things their way and they I don't know, but there's something about you that you're like crushing this person's ego or like you're you're just as stubborn as them and you don't let them walk on them. Well, you don't let them walk on you and stuff like that. But they desire you so much. So they feel like it's like kind of forcing this person to kind of like put their pride to the side if they want to, which they do. They desire you a lot. So it's like forcing this person to make some changes because this person doesn't want anybody else to have you. They do want to be with you, but you're not allowing them to just like, because I told you, this is somebody that's used to dealing with people that don't know their worth, but you do know your worth now. Maybe in the past you didn't, but you do know it now. And if they want you, they're going to have to surrender. Like you're not, not or not even that, like they're just going to have to do right by you. And this person is at this in this energy where they feel like they have no choice now because they don't want to be without you. It says marriage. They see you as marriage material, someone that inspires them to create a strong foundation for marriage. Yeah, it's like they want to come towards you right now. So this is that energy of them wanting a new beginning with you, but them not taking any action right now because they feel they feel very tempted to come towards you. But they know that because of the way that they left you or whatever they did to you or whatever boundaries you set that they probably shouldn't do that. Like, it's not a good idea because this person is like still needing to heal and do some shadow work. So the energy that they would be coming towards you in, you probably wouldn't accept this person back anyways. Um, so give me a couple more and then I'm taking this over to the extended reading. Yeah. It's like, they've been scared of you for no reason. They, they're, they are afraid to trust and get hurt again, which I said, they don't trust their ability. They don't trust their ability to choose a good partner. They don't trust their ability to make decisions, good decisions. I don't know. But it says the illusion is keeping them locked in anxiety, unable to act upon their love. So that's another reason why they're not taking action. They're just like still scared to some degree. But it's like they're kind of just hoping that the the universe will bring the two of you together. But they're breaking free from some type of baggage and they are going to shoot their shot with you. They do, do view you as an unknown. But I told you, they feel like the right thing to do with this card. They're trying to do the right thing by offering you something more solid and giving it careful consideration. See, they have toxic people around them, friends, family, that have been preventing them from seeing how much you love them and how much value the two of you being together has or just you in general. And they're realizing that they let these distractions and just like the way that they were raised and the way that they were brought up, their mindset, all those things, it, you slipped away from them. They, like, they know that you will be or you are the one that got away. So they're going to have to do something like that's what it is because they know now they feel like you guys are a perfect match, but they got to like break free from this baggage that they need to take care of this first. But once they do that, I do see them taking aim and it says they have stepped into their power and taking action towards you. They will not miss their mark this time. So, yeah, look, the unknown scares them. They see the abundance you bring into their life, but they fear being wrong. What I've said that a million times. This person does not trust themselves, but. Yeah, look at this. They're trying to figure out how to get like they know that they need to level up to be with you. Yeah, so they're stepping into they're stepping up their game to get your attention because they know you have plenty of other options. See, it's something about them feeling that they lost you forever, too, or they're going to lose you forever is what I'm trying to say to somebody else. So I don't know if they can sense like some of you guys probably are dating. They can maybe see you dating other people. They can maybe just sense that something's coming in. They just know your value and they know that it's imminent. I don't know what it is exactly, but. This person's like really afraid to lose you. So they're about to start stepping something up. They're over there losing sleep about it. 